Hey guys, what is up? I am back with another uh, tier listing. Today I'm doing a Minecraft mob tier listing. Um, this tier listing is going to be based on design, um, uniqueness of the mob, and usefulness in the game. So without further ado, I'm going to get into it. We're going to start with basic the cow. Cow is useful for a beginning game, but once you get into it, there's better food sources, better things. So I'm going to put it at B. It's good really early because it's a decent food source. Um, I mean, it's a cow. Milk is pretty useful for negative effects like when you're fighting the wither or something like that but other than that it, there's not much more once you get into later game that you're using a cow for sheep i like to build things so i'm putting sheep at a tier because just getting wool and i mean that's its only real use i mean i can get mutton chops but it's not really that good but um i like to build things and it is like one of the most essential blocks wool is one of the most essential blocks for building fox now i know you can do cool things with the fox it gives life to the taiga biomes. Um, retrieves items, I think, or something like that. Holds items. Uh, I'm going to put it in C. I don't think it's that useful. It gives life to the taiga, but, taiga biome, but that's really all it does. It doesn't do much. Um, it's pretty pretty bland. I wish they would do more with it. Snow foxes are kind of cool. It's a cool companion, but other than that, meh. It's D. Or C. Bat. That's D. Bat doesn't do anything. Doesn't give any experience. They need to do something updated. Maybe make them... Uh, 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 aggressive mob based around the bat so like or maybe maybe make them attack kind of like slimes <clears throat> that'd be pretty cool chicken chickens um i'm gonna put a, a d or b you can get chicken which is food feathers it's good eggs eggs are good for i, I don't know <laughs> uh i don't know man feathers feathers are probably the biggest thing book and quills are pretty nice to have to add like a little bit of ambiance in the into your world and also, creating arrows is huge, especially if you have mending bows. So I'm gonna put it B. It's kind of like the cow, does does good things later, but later on in the game, it's kind of useless. Cod, we're going C. A good food source just to find in all rivers. It gives life to the riverways. Um, kind of basic. I do like how they added the fishes that you could fish out of the water in, as mobs in the game. Um, but again, it doesn't do much. It's just food. Maybe get a bone or two every now and then. The ocelot. Ocelots are annoying. You could tame them to cats. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go C. They're annoying. They're hard to catch. Not my favorite mob. <clears throat> if I'm going over ocelots or wolves, I'm going wolves every time. Getting me a dog. Just saying. Pig. Pig C. Pig, uh, yeah. Pig C. At least it's got food. But that's really all. You could ride pigs. That's pretty funny. Um, other than that, I mean, it's a pig. It gives you pork chops, and that, and that that's it. Snow golems. I think snow golems. Golem. The golem Pokemon's are really create. Pokemon's. Psh, mobs are really creative. Um, and this one's good. I mean, yeah, it only does snow and throws snowballs at uh, enemy mobs, but it also, like, is an easy way to collect snow. And I think snow is a pretty decent building block. Again, another building block mob. Hey, guys, I just wanted to take a quick pause in this video to let you know about 70% of the people that watch the tier list videos that I make aren't subscribed. And if you guys could just do me a huge favor and go down, on the, uh, <clears throat> down below and click that subscribe button, that would really help me out. Thanks. Bunny. Oh, I'm gonna put this one in deer cuz like D cuz like yeah, you can get rabbit's foot and that's about it I mean, that's about the only useful thing that comes with it. You get food food. It's food isn't great It's hard to catch it um, and it's like the main thing is like rabbit leather Why does four rabbit leather make a one leather? I like what's we could have figured out something that better than just rabbit Like it just doesn't make sense to me. I don't Why like we could have used rabbit leather for more intricate crafting recipes but no let's just make one big leather why would you use that over a cow i, I would never salmon go and does the same thing as cod we're gonna put it right there i mean it's just a i guess it's red so it's prettier so we'll put it above cod but other than that it's just a fish uh mushrooms i think mushrooms are pretty cool i'm gonna put them above castle so like their uniqueness is cool it's like put mushrooms on a cow that's pretty funny um and you can get stew instead of milk but again, it does the same things as a cow, but I just think the uniqueness level is a little bit higher and I think it adds a, it can add more color to your world if you're using mushrooms, if you can find mushrooms. Brown mushrooms are also, you can get a rare just to have it. That'd be pretty cool. Squid, black ink's pretty useful, um, but I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it at the top of C, just because that's where all it's for, black ink. Um, but it's a good way to get a dye. Um, it's the only real way to get black, or you know, the black dye aside from wither roses, which is much harder to do, so. <clears throat> Strider, I think Strider is very helpful. We're gonna put it at the top of B here. It's not like uber really helpful, but it's helpful to get across, um, get across large lava lakes in the Nether. And uh, 
I think it's another passive mob that you can befriend that's pretty um, pretty silly. So I'm going to put it at the top of B. The Tropical Fish. Now, hear me out. They're useless, but they did give oceans a lot of life. Even though they don't do anything, they're just kind of cool to have. So I'm going to put them at the top of C. They're useless. They really don't do much. But they did give a much-needed uh, breath of fresh air to a biome that really needed it. Turtles. Um, I'm going to put it, again, does the same thing as Tropical Fish. I'm going to put it C. Then, then you can get the scoots. You can make the scoot hum. You can have water breathing. It's nice. But And then the, I guess the turtle egg. I'm going to put it bottom B. Okay? Because the turtle eggs can help really or help make some farms. And that's that's nice. And um, I guess the scoot helmet is pretty pretty nice to have. Villagers. Villagers are S tier. They're not that unique. <clears throat> I guess they're kind of unique. But you want to start a get you want to start a world off right you get yourself some villagers you start trading don't worry about mining and stuff that's well, who plays minecraft to mine no one <laughs> you get the villagers you set them up to trade you start breeding them and then you have all the enchantments you want all the gear you want easy peasy that's villagers are s tier essential in any world wandering villagers and d all their or all their trades are garbage you can find them easier if you just went out in the world looking for them um Sometimes, if you're early game and you find a villager, it, you might be able to find something you want, but then do you have the emeralds to do so? Maybe, probably not, and their trades are just bad. So if you want something the wandering villager has, just go find it yourself. Puffer fish. The water breathing is pretty huge, so we're going to put it We're gonna put it above in C. Um, other than that, I mean, it's just it's another thing that gives life to the oceans, but, again, it really all it is is traps with friends. It's pretty funny, so you can trap their, their houses with puffer fish but the water breathing is all it's really useful for axel out a little cute little little mud kip you know little mud kip we're gonna put it at b just because i think it's a unique mob it's a unique animal to put into the minecraft world like who thinks axolotl no one no one ever thought that would be useful and i guess they can take down guardians but they're not very good at their job but they're still it's a cute mob so i'm gonna put it in, in the game. glow squid glow ink is awesome I won't, and, and i think they look really cool so i'm gonna put a top of b it's pretty i mean it's really just useful for the going but i think the it gives a little bit of ambiance and caves it gives you more life in caves that otherwise it's just a dead dead uh <clears throat> dead biome okay we got we got, whoa we have is this the mule or is this the donkey is there even a I think that this is the mule. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with B. I mean it's just a horse. I, I don't know, don't remember um, if you could put satchels on mules. I know you can on donkeys, which I think that's what this is. So I'm gonna put that in A, because that's kinda useful, especially early game, translating items, but other than that, it's not I mean and also getting place to place, like if you were running on a potato computer like me, um, horses are much better way to travel than elytra because things don't load in when you're flying with an elytra, so I'm going to do that. Um, horses can get around a little faster than the donkey, but the donkey can store things, so you can choose which one you want. I'm going to say they're pretty much similar. Mules, I mean, they're just donkeys and horses mixed, so that's all three of them right there. Cats, uh, I'm going to put it with the uh, uh, ocelot. I mean, it's just cat. It doesn't really – it keeps creepers away. So, actually, I'm going to put it I'm gonna put it bottom of B. Keeping creepers away, if you get enough of them around, shoot your, your – uh, your area is pretty safe. All you got to worry about in most areas are zombies and endermen. So that's nice. Parrot. Parrot was a cool idea. They don't do anything, um, but just be another companion and then just kind of be annoying. So I'm going to put C. Um, I like the different colors and it can bring life to your area. You know, just another mob to add into your area to make it look like it's more alive. But again, they could have done more with it. Um, and it just kind of fell flat. I think the skeleton horse is a as in uniqueness is pretty cool i mean again it doesn't do it does about as much as the horse but it's you know it's just a dead horse that you can find skeletons riding on and then tame for yourself i think that's a cool idea i think minecraft needs more of my mobs like that in the area in the game and um that that's just a cool mob for me the la the la i'm gonna put also at a i'm gonna put it behind these two i think Finding them is a cool little task that you can do in the game, a little side quest. And then when you get one, you can make quite a bit of mobs and a breeding area. So you could uh, make, not mobs, make a, quite a bit of um, farms with it that just collect items for you and drop them off as long as you set the hopper to them. So I think that's a cool idea. Dolphins, dolphins are a cool addition. Eh, and they're not that useful though. I mean, like, yeah, they give you swimming, they give you swiss swim. Um, 
But other than that, like, there's just another mob that adds life into the oceans, which you definitely need. We're, I'm waiting on the shark to come out, but they'll never do a shark because they don't want you killing sharks in game. It's, it is what it is. Polar bear. <sighs> Polar bear is a cool mob because, you know, bears are cool. But it doesn't really do. I'm going to give uniqueness just because it's a polar bear and polar bears are cool. So I'm going to put it in B. But, I mean, I wish it would do more. Again, it, it doesn't do much. Same with the panda. It's, it's a bear. It's a cool bear. It's a different kind of bear, but it doesn't do much. You know, it just kind of sits there and, you know, dances to music. So I'm going to put him a little bit the polar bear. But these guys, yeah, I wish they would have done more. The llama. Llama is kind of on the same level as the mule, but you can't, or the donkey, but you can't ride it. So I'm going to put it behind the mule. Um, being able to store things on llamas, getting now the process of getting a fully decked out llama where you can store as much on it is a kind of a pain, but I think that is cool. And they spit, which is a unique little feature that no other mob does. I think that's pretty funny, especially when you kill like the wandering traders and they just spit at you. So funny. Dogs, dogs going in eight tier. You know, it's a dog. You know, what else do I need to say? Like, dogs are cool. They protect you from skeletons, and you can just build an army of them and attack, and you'll never be touched by any. Uh, any other mob or any skeleton or any mob that hits you in the game again bees i think bees were a great addition i'm gonna put a top of b great addition to minecraft it gives a, a fresh of fresh air to like those normal just want forest that you go like the woke forward forest and the birch forest and they're great for like you know you can get the honey make redstone for traffic no you know what this is going a tier like you i'm gonna put it top of a like redstone it's huge um you can make farms with it so like populating like plants and crops so you can make quicker working uh farms like farm farms that way um honey bottles and honeycomb that's another building block that's going to top a for sure now that i thought about it iron golem s tier that's an s tier mob because oh ooh, let's get because like without iron golems iron farms aren't possible and iron farms are i guess they would be kind of possible like i guess you get enough zombies like you can make iron but it's not 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 efficient iron farms are almost essential in every game you got to have one eventually that's the second step after villagers you make iron farm iron farm gets you the iron you need for your redstone and just for like in general use hoppers are huge especially to make it for making farms so iron golem going up top and you get roses that you can turn into bone meal or red dye so goats i think goats are hilarious usefulness i i mean you just get the horns which is pretty funny to annoy people with but the screaming goats i'm gonna put a top of a just because screaming goats are probably the funniest mob in the game i enjoy them um and i think it's hilarious when i hear one of them just scream out of nowhere spiders we're gonna put bottom of b eh, we'll put it at top of c i mean you get string um and that's the only thing they're really good for is string and it's, i guess spider eyes but not really uh, i think the you know other than that they're just kind of a basic mob it's been there for a while so it has the right to be basic k spider is just the same thing as spider a little bit more creative you get poisoned by them which is what you would expect from most spiders why you're scared of spiders so i'm gonna put it put it at b just low b that way spider and k spider it's a little bit more unique than the normal spider um enderman i think enderman has been a unique and cool mob since the beginning i'm gonna put it top of b it's look if you ever watch game theory they have this whole thing that like you what you like the ancient builders became endermen and that's why they can pick up blocks and they can like their teleportation is due to the fact they got stuck in the end and they morphed and evolved over time so i think that's a cool little theory i don't know that's probably not true but it is dope um them being able to teleport is unique in its own right it's being a three tall block mob may, makes them um different than a lot of mobs and it's a really beginner game mob farm easy to make once you get i guess beginner game it's end game once you beat the end of dragon but once you get to the end it's a really easy farm to make piglins um i'm gonna put it oh i don't know some people will be mad i'm gonna put it behind the i'm gonna put it in front of the snowball because the gold that you can get from piglins from the piglin farm is essential for bartering um once you make a barter farm then you get all these access to all these new blocks and materials not new but um an easier access to all these materials so i think they're kind of huge to have a gold farm to and, and. so now goes hand in hand with the zombie piglins you need piglins to trade so barter with um because you get all those items so they're kind of the same the gold i guess you can get the gold some of the piglet zombie piglins of uh, piglins just because you get gold and then in turn you'll get the rest of the stuff from the piglins so i think that that is where i'm going to put them they're pretty useful invokers are cool they're cool i'm gonna put them they're not really that useful they're i guess you can get um totems of dying so i'm gonna lie and actually say that is a you know what that's going to nest here i changed my mind 
Nah, you're going behind. Nah, I ain't going. Um, but getting the totems on dying, killer. That 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 is uh, what everyone wants. You know, you don't want to die when you like fall in lava or something. It helps you save your for a little bit. And you know, it's a cool mob. It can use magic attacks, which is cool. It summons vexes, which are annoying to deal with. So. I think this is just an illager, which is it's an evil villager. Doesn't do much. I'm going to put it at the bottom. Eh, we'll put it above this case spider. But it's still a unique design. It's a villager that turned against his people. Whoa. Um, villager party? I think, I don't know what these are called. I get illager party, illager po raid, um, vi or pillager. It might be a pillager. That's what it is. Um, I'm going to put it above the illager just because I think it's cooler. Um as the crossbow so they are annoying i don't like that that the fact that they spawn randomly and they're just annoying but i do think they are cooler than the other the ravenger the ravenger is a very unique mob i'm putting him at there's not like there's almost like there's nothing else like it it's just you know they're just like let me morph a villager into a giant beast and make him hard to kill we're putting it at a tier behind the goats because the goats are hilarious but this is like the most unique mob and i think it's pretty cool you know they're like what are what are we known for in minecraft let's make a mob around that and let's make him pretty powerful the vex um these are just annoying they're unique but they're annoying so i'm gonna put them mid i'm gonna put them c i'm gonna put them i'm just gonna put them behind the spider it's unique but i mean I, I, they don't do anything you know that that's that's my biggest problem with them the ender might um these do things they can make farms i'm gonna put it's it's kind of unique because it comes from an ender. i'm gonna put it behind the turtle because like anything you do like you make the turtle legs you make things attack the turtle legs make endermen attack the endermite that's why they're that's why that farm is so efficient so i'm gonna put it at the bottom or somewhere lower b guardians uh huge i'm gonna go a because they give you prismarine and dark prismarine and that is just a beautiful you know that block is beautiful and sea lanterns so those are huge i might i'm gonna put them actually above above the snow golem yep for sure because th those items are just huge and, you know if you're a builder dark first I mean, those are the like some of the best items in the game in my opinion elder guardian elder guardian is a unique mob doesn't give you it gives you the sponge which is i guess is cool as long as you, if you don't find a sponge room but um you know it's another boss in the game probably my least favorite of the bosses but it is still a cool and unique mob. You know, let's just make an ancient guardian that is more powerful than all the rest and is kind of like the leader. And put three of them in the thing. Shulker. Shulker are annoying, but are essential. We're putting them... We're putting... Oh, yeah, we're going S. It's essential for inventory space. You need shulkers to get the shulker boxes. We're putting it... Man, I'm putting that in, like, right behind the villagers. The shulker boxes are a huge key of the game, and I am glad they added them. They're annoying to fight, but, you know, once you get them done with, I, I like them. Ow. Is this the husk? I think this is the husk. Uh, it's just a reskin zombie. I'm putting it at C. No, this might be the husk. One of these is a husk, and this is just a reskin skeleton. I'm putting it at C, you know? They're just like, w w they're in a different biome. We're going to change what they look like. The, um, the guy, what are they called? I know they, what they, uh... I'll come back to it, but uh, we'll come back to it. Blazes. Blazes are been in here since the beginning. Very unique mob. Blaze rods are pretty good, especially for heat source. If you got a good blaze farm, you just make a heat source with blaze rods. Probably one of the most efficient things you can do in terms of fueling. So I'm going to put it at A. It's a good mob. Creeper. Again, another unique mob. Gunpowder is huge, especially when you get elytra and you have a good computer you can fly around. That's a huge mob. Uh, the explosion's pretty good. Uh, I would say it's probably better than the horse. Eh, yeah, getting the horse eventually once you get into late game. God, what are those things called? Undead mob, flies around, god dang it. Uh, phantom, is that what it is? Is it a phantom? I think it's a phantom. Uh, phantoms are unique, but annoying, because they're like, and like, they're, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it at the top of C, because like, it, it had a good ability when it came out to like repair, like they're used to repair the elytra, but then like kind of quickly got overshadowed because mending became an enchantment. So there's no unique read to like use its stuff to make an elytra. So like there's really no use for them. And they're annoying at night because you have to sleep every three days. So like that's, that just, why put a time constraint on it? I don't get it. I don't like it. it it's unique, but I didn't like it. The ghast, I'm going to put ghast at B. Um, getting, I think, what is it? It's giving you regeneration maybe is the guest here so that's pretty pretty good for fighting mobs especially bosses um and it's unique you know it's a it's a nether squid that flies around and shoots fireballs at you i like it 
Uh, recently, the I would say, I'm going to put this at B. The Magma Cubes haven't been that useful. But with the addition of frogs and frog lamps, I think the frog lamps, frog lights, whatever, are really good lamps or good um, lighting sources. So I'm going to put them and frogs in the in the same category. So before that, not that great. You know, I guess fire resistant, great for nether, but with the magma creams. But now with the addition of frog light, lights, I'm going to put them there and put them both at high B. Um, silverfish, just bad D. Why did they make them? They shouldn't have made them, or they should have done something else with them. Skeletons, skeletons are classic. We're gonna put it uh, classic. Top it, top it. Bone farms, huge. I'm gonna put them at B. I like it. Slimes, redstone. That's a huge thing. I'm putting above the. Um, well, I'm gonna put it above above the LA and the creeper. Um, slime blocks are i like the way slime blocks look one and two they're huge you need them for most any redstone sticky pistons are huge zombie classic but doesn't do much i'm gonna put a top of siege because it's a classic mob you want to move there phantom okay boom it's just a zombie what else is it you know it can give you potatoes and carrots if you're really hurting that bad zombie villager i'm gonna put above zombie uh, we'll put it C because I mean you, it's cool to have the ability to change it back. But other than that, I mean it's just a zombie again. Um, changing it back is cool. Now the um, drown, drown, copper farms huge, uh, huge to get caught. I guess not huge, huge because it didn't do. I'm put it above the cow and the mushroom because um, it's right now it's just a decorative block, but it's still hard to get copper. Like besides mining a bunch of it, so we're gonna put it at B. But drowns are a decent, decent mob. Wither, wither, uh, my wither skeletons. Wow, I'm putting the top of B because getting wither skulls is always huge. Um, being able to spawn the wither boss, um, to get nether stars is key to making the game move faster and just wasting less time. So that's going to top of B. Witches, uh, you can get a lot from witches if you're good with them. So I'm going to put top of A, you can get redstone, glowstone, um, what else is there? Some potions you can get from them for free. So if you make a good witch farm, that's huge, especially for redstoners. And, you know, glowstone's always a nice block to have. You can make lamps and stuff. Uh, hoglins. Hoglins are, you know, if you're just living in the nether, they're okay. But other than that, I'm going to be, they're kind of, you know, they kind of, they are what they are. Zombie hoglins, same thing. I mean, these are just worse, though. So I'm going to put it at the end of C. I mean, it's cool. They're unique and they're cool mobs to have. But, like, I guess it's the only real form of food in the nether. So... It is what it is. Piglin Brutes. I think these are so cool. You know, find them in Bashams. They don't do do much for you, but I just think they're cool mob. They're unique mob. It's like, let's just make a juiced up. Like, let's give let's give this guy here steroids and make him this guy and make him hard to kill. I like the mobs that are hard to kill. I think those are the coolest ones because it's like a battle every time you see one. Mini Zombie. He's, he's been around a while. We'll give a little more respect than the Zombie Villager, but... I mean, it's just a mini zombie that moves fast, a little annoying. And tadpole, tadpole. I mean, like, I get it's life in the game doesn't do anything. I'm gonna put it at the bottom of C. I mean, I guess they become frogs, and that's the only reason why I'm giving them that is just because they become frogs. But it's annoying. Um, now the real bosses of the game. I know I did the Elder Guardian, but isn't it really a boss? War. Um, we're gonna start with the Wither Skeleton or the Wither Boss. Um, I'm putting that at S. You. It's almost hard not to put it as because it's such a unique mob. Like, well, like what is it? It's a skeleton that floats around. It's like a ghost skeleton that shoots fireball or shoots heads at, at you. And then when you kill him, you get the nether star. The nether star is so key to just completing, like, playing Minecraft, like, in a relaxing mode. So that is going in S tier. Man, I almost want to put it at the top of S tier, but we'll put it We'll put it right in front of the iron farm because you need it. Um, Ender Dragon. Now, the Ender Dragon itself is isn't that i mean it's a dragon so i'm gonna put it up pretty high but like itself doesn't like do much i'm gonna put it behind the creeper it does unlock once you beat it, it unlocks the end village so like i guess you could say that that's cool but itself isn't doesn't do much um aside from like lingering potions but like if you're playing by yourself you don't really need those and other than that like they're not that it's not that useful you know but i will put it in mid a mid bottom age just because it's like it's been around a while gotta give her some respect and it's a dragon you know i wish they would do more with the egg if they did more with the egg and you could like hatch a new dragon and tame it that would be cool and this would go way higher but until uh, the warden i'm putting this at s tier because like i'm like it's not useful like right now it's not useful i guess you get the skull catalyst but other than that 
it doesn't do much, but it's a cool, like, it's just a different mob. Like, it's it's so much different than the rest of the things we have. It's so strong and powerful. Like, it's a boss in itself. And what I'm hoping for in the future, because if you look at, like, a um, deep, dark village or, you know, society thing, there's clearly a portal to another dimension. And I'm hoping in the future of Minecraft we get another dimension into, like, the deep, dark and see where that leads. I hope it's just, like, a whole, mu like, a much harder dimension um, than what we're used to because the game itself is pretty easy. So I hope I hope they add that into the future games, and um, I can't wait to see what they do next. So for, out of all the mobs, there's a lot less than I thought there were, but all the mobs, here's my ranking. Um, if you disagree or agree, uh, let me know. And if you want to see more videos like this one, hit those like and subscribe buttons. Until next time, peace.